afternoon, everybody. So, as you can see now, the truck is gone. I sold the truck. Uh, it had 27,000 kilometers on it. No big issues. Just uh, the vacuum issue for the four-wheel drive that popped up on all three of my F-150s. But, um, I sold it because somebody offered me the same amount of money that I bought the thing for. And it kind of worked out all right. My uh, job, we moved to another town. So now I had a commute that was, say, 20 kilometers, maybe a bit more, maybe th almost 30 kilometers one way. So the truck was pretty tough on fuel to do town driving. So I sold it and I got that white golf. It's a diesel manual golf wagon, which I will talk about later. What I want to talk about is this Bronco Sport. The wife traded in her 2015 Escape and we picked up a 2023 Bronco Sport Big Bend. Uh, the only ish, the only thing I asked for her to do was still to get a tow hitch because with the truck gone and the escape had the tow hitch, um, we still needed to pull this trailer for dump runs and Home Depot and mind the mess. I'm cleaning up for the fall. I'm cleaning up the yard. I just got new snows. For the bronco sport i went down to 16 inch because i have the steelies for 16 inch so we'll give these coopers a go um you've probably seen a lot of videos already on bronco sports but i'm going to mention a few things that seem to irk me uh so it's fairly new um my couple of oddball things is I can't do it right now, but let's start her up. So we've got turn off. We've got just over 700 kilometers. The only issue so far is it's a very squeaky infotainment unit that I'm trying to get the dealer to fix, and I don't know if. This dial thing is really weird. I'm still not used to it. Even because my main gripe is it rolls, it rolls into D, and then you can keep going. There's no lockout, so you can't count the bumps. Same with the headlights. You can keep spinning it, spinning it, spinning it, and you can't count the bumps. So I guess you just leave it in auto, but then yeah, sometimes it's late to put on the, the lights when it gets dark. Um, the nice thing about the Bronco Sport is, especially having only Sync 3 available, is it keeps buttons. It keeps physical buttons, which is nice. when you If you go to the Escape, and to get a tow package with the Escape, you need to go to the ST line, at least here in Canada, and then it goes up to sync four and it moves all the buttons into the touch screen, which I'm not a fan of. So my only quip with this thing, and I get it, it's probably because of theft of vehicles, or that's really the only reason, I shut her down here for a sec, is when the car's not started, you can't put it into neutral. So I can't push this thing out of the way because it's an electronic shifter. The um, rear parking brake is electronic. So it doesn't dis, you can't just pull a cable and have it you know disconnect unless you have this car running. Uh, the 20, 21s, 22s, used to have an access here for a pull switch to put it into neutral 
but the 23s do not. So to do that for 23s, oh, it's hard to see, but down there, there's a little black switch knob that you need two Ford tools with to put this thing into neutral without starting it. Which I find that very annoying because a lot of the time I just want to move the car a couple of feet because I want to get the Mini out. And it means I have to start the car every time. But other than that, this is the wife's new ride. I'm gonna throw the snow tires on. It came with 17s of, I would say junk, pro junk Continentals because they're factory line tires and I doubt they're, they're more no season than all season. I didn't wanna buy say KO2s or Falcon Wild Peaks right off the bat because they would also be for summer when these are still new and they were fine they'll be fine for summer so I got a good deal on a set of winners we'll do that and then then we'll go to the all terrains later so uh, I gotta keep cleaning here for the winter the Escape does just, or sorry, the Bronco Sport just just fits in my garage at a six foot door height. Uh, the antenna does rub, so I've ordered a shorty antenna from Craven Speed. I'm still waiting for it. So here's to new life without an F-150. Cheers. <laughs>